now if you are just just seeing this live thank you for joining i will be having a guest join me as well so thank you for clicking on this video now today we are going to continue the process of making sorrel drink jamaican style you know there are let me just say there are a whole lot of things that you can put in the sorrel so you're not limited to what i used because i would have made a video and released it you're not limited to the ingredients i've used in my sorrel in the prep process you know to have it steep so here i have my sorrel yes i have it and it's looking so good looking so 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 good yes guys so we're gonna continue the process like i mentioned where we're gonna blend it no let me tell you it's the first time i'm blending it normally i would either put it to steep or i would boil it a little but some of the ingredients as well like the bay leaf first time i'm using it so guys while you are here and waiting hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed for more videos like this so this is a channel that has a mixture of stuff you know i'll cook a lot i'll do vlogs different different type of things informational stuff that i can put you on to, so you can make an informed decision guys like the video as well and feel free to comment in the comment section as well all right just a minute yes so i am back all right back navigating all right sorry about that so like i mentioned i had my sorry overnight so if you have not seen my previous video let me just say to you that you can definitely check it out after this live um I had, I think it was around 7.30 there about in the evening, yesterday evening, six something, seven, I, I um, put it to sleep and it was overnight until now. You know, so that's what, over 12 hours. Now, what I have in my sorrel, just to remind you, if you have not yet seen the previous video, what I have in my sorrel is I have cinnamon stick or star and i also have some cinnamon leaves i have one bay leaf um and i also have pimento seeds right yes trust me it is smelling so good at this point it is really smelling so so good all right so it's already you know flavored oh and ginger not to forget i had boiled my ginger so it's sitting in the ginger so what i'm going to do is use the water or the juice that is already there from the process to blend it in the blender right and then i'll go ahead and strain and add my sugar no guys a lot of these ingredients saying this once again is based on your personal preferences you can add things you can subtract things it all depends on what it is that you want and the taste you're going for this is going to be non-alcoholic so who knows i might do an alcoholic version later down when it's in december time yes yeah, so you can stay tuned for that all right so let's just start the process from now so i'm gonna get some of this in this so it, the blending process can begin, all right? So my blender, my blender is already washed. So remember guys, your utensils, anything that you're going to be using needs to be washed and all of that. So I'm just gonna use my spoon to assist me in getting out all of the goodness. Yes. So I'm gonna start the blending process. Firstly, you realize the color even changed. Now what you may want to do is like remove like the cinnamon leaves, you know, if you can find them, you remove them and the cinnamon, the cinnamon stalks or sticks, right? Guys, my hands are clean. You can touch your food once your hands are clean as well. 
So I'm looking for all of these to remove them because I don't want to blend them. See, I have my one bay leaf I take out. I don't want them to be blended in it. So I'm removing them as much as I can. Guys, do you comment below? Do you like style drink? How you normally make it? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know how you normally make the sorrel drink in Christmas time when grandma or mommy would do it for you because I know a lot of persons they'll come even if you're living overseas they'll come during the Christmas time for family time which is expected and that's good all right so I'm going to put some of the water in it now so I can start blending this I do have my strainers guys and I also have a fine, I don't, I don't quite remember. So this is what I'll use to get through all that small residue that normally will seep in your juice. So when I strain it first, then I'm gonna use this the second straining. All right, all right, so we're going. All right, so I'm still ensuring that I get some of the water. And this is supposed to be very much flavorful because my ginger was boiled in the water, right? All right, so there we have it. We are gonna blend now our first blend, all right? All righty, righty, let's get it. a little bit smaller you can definitely if you have in your kitchen you can use the biggest strainer possible that will aid in the smooth or the fast processing right here of straining the sorrel drink but look at that it is so nice you know generally I would see my mother at times she would tap you know tap to aid the process of getting it strained, the juice strained through the strainer. You can do that as well. Some persons generally would use spoon, you know, to do this instead of their hand. It's your choice. Your kitchen, your choice. All right. Guys, just to say a uh, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. So I'm still waiting on my guests. So a disclaimer is that if you hear noise in the background, yes, it's early morning. I can't do anything about that. Sorry about that. So yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I also have a container to collect the trash, you know. I do have a container here that I'll just go ahead and put the trash in. But trust me, I smell everything. It's smelling so, 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 so good. Smelling so good. It is smelling so good. Guys, sorry, of course, have a lot of benefits as well. They do have a lot of benefits, you know? So you can definitely tap into this. If you have not tried it, you can try it. Right, you can definitely try the sorrow drink. Trust me, you will not regret it at all. You will regret it. All right, let me put this remaining portion right here. All right, just a moment.
All right, so guys, some of the benefits of sorrel is that it's rich in antioxidants. And you know, our body needs that to fight against those disease causing mechanisms, you know? We need it to fight and keep our body healthy, right? Now, it may also reduce your chance of getting cancer cells being grown or getting cancer or cancer cells growing in your system. So, you know, it has a lot of benefits. You know, many research went into this, removing another cinnamon leaf. I had quite a few, so you might be interested how many to put in. I had quite a few, and I think this is definitely based on personal preference. So... Anywhere, I'd say between, if it's small leaves, anywhere between five, you know, if the stalks of the cinnamon aren't so big, you can definitely use a few pieces as well, probably the three. So it all depends on what you're going for. All right, I can't wait. I cannot wait to drink this. All right. Now, for another benefit of sorrel, it supports heart health. Healthy heart, trust me. Remember, the heart is responsible for our body, you know, so we have to keep that healthy as possible. So, yes, it promotes healthy heart. Or it promotes health heart. Or heart health. <laughs> Don't do stuff. But, yeah. So, you can definitely... Try the sorrel. I mean, as with anything, too much of anything isn't good. So I won't say drink it every day, but you know, you can consume. Because also the opposite, it does have effects. Other effects as well. All right, I think I have enough liquid here. So I am going to go ahead and blend it. This is my second blending. Uh, I can't wait to drink it. I'm so excited. Let me hurry up and finish it. Ooh. Okay, let's go. So while this is blending, I'm going to remove the trash from this. I guess is reaching out to me. Hey, let me see. Da, 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 da. Hold on, let me see. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. I'm now going ahead to add. Yay, my guest is here. Well, not yet here, but all right. Hi. So, <laughs> hey guys. So, this is Roma Lee from Roma Lee's channel and Roma's Kitchen. So, what's up, Hi, girl? this is me. <laughs> I like the hairstyle and I love the glasses. Thank you. Yeah, we just washed my hair. I just washed my hair and got it twisted. You're looking yeah, nice, so. man. Looking real nice. Hold on, let me turn up the volume a bit. I think it's a little low. All right, go ahead. I can hear you. I already started the process, so 
I didn't but and you know I want to see this process because when you said that you you blend the soil, I've never done that before. So you have to go walk me through what you do because I've never seen anyone done it like that before, and me never do it like that before. So I want to know because this know? is my first time I'm trying something new. So what I did, like our normal process would be, we'll blend, we'll boil or boil in water and mm -hmm. add our man or or ginger i did i allowed my ginger to boil with my water i added my cinnamon my one bay leaf, cinnamon stalk and leaves and pimento seeds then i added my pimento you add cloves do you add cloves i would but i don't have any cloves now so oh because that's something that i add in mine i add cloves yes I've tried it before when I tr I've done it in China before. I think I had used cloves before, but no, I don't have some. This is what I have. But I do realize that you can. This is something cloves that, nice. Cloves give it a really, yeah. really, really nice flavor. And this is something you can add different things to get your flavor. So it just all depends on personal preference too. So. I was even saying earlier that, you know, I'm going to do, this one is non-alcoholic. I may just try one that was the alcoholic dollar line for probably. Mine has different, mine definitely has to be alcoholic. I don't know, that's a, maybe such a different thing from what everyone is used to. But me and style and stuff can never be alcoholic. Oh, I don't know. I'm giving it to someone and then so the more alcohol in there, that's different. But for me, for me, mm-mm. No alcohol. Yeah. No alcohol. Or it's just probably try it in a cup to see the flavor it gives and if it's something I'm going for, you know, just experimenting. But I've never tried it with alcohol before either. So I was just saying. So, yes. So, what I did, I allowed it to keep overnight for about 12 hours and then now I'm continuing the process. So, I saw where you blend it and I was like, yeah, I've never tried it. So, let me try it. You know, because all the flavors are already in, and then you let's see how more flavorful the sorrel can. You know, mm -hmm. so I already to do one glass. So you, wait, you put the you just put so let me see. You steep it overnight. Yes. And then you put the pulp and the water where you use steep it into the blender. Sure. Right. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is if you if you're not following but yes basically she's asking if i'm understanding so yes that's exactly what i do what i try to do too is remove the cinnamon stock and the cinnamon leaf of course i can't really reach the, the pigmentos i haven't seen any but remove as much as the, of the spices that you used previously that you probably wanted ended the bay leaf i took that out as well so it's just i have literally problem. never used and no pimento can be used in sorrel but I've never used pimento. I use um ginger, orange peel, cloves. That's said, my go-to. So how does it taste with orange? Good. The cloves, especially the cloves, is the is it for me when it comes on to sorry the cloves. Sorry, I'm setting up my tripod because. That's fine. That's fine. I'm That's hungry. Fine. Some of they uh, eat little aki and salt fish and send me a pop of something and I just saw on Instagram something that gave you an option. The top one A says aki and salt fish and fried dumpling and the bottom one colour and fried dumpling. And I was like, definitely A. Never go wrong with aki and salt fish. And I miss it. I haven't had it in a while. You're making me jealous. <laughs> making me jealous, girl. Are you a make me jealous? You there, Jamaica? Can I get these things? Alright, right, so while you're setting up, I'm just gonna continue to blend this in the meantime. Uh, Alright. There's something here going so the DJI that's stickier, I mean, it just. Okay, 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 okay. It just got all over the place. Your tripod. Oh, hmm. Okay. We're avoiding rice. Are you, you? Tell me, do you prefer it with rice or food? Aki and I've never had aki and with rice before. Really? 
Mm -hmm. Whoa, I have. I have had it with the rice. Let me just. I got that. I was actually sharing some benefits. Do you have any benefits for the sorrel? I was telling them that it, uh, it can aid, um, it helps with the heart health, uh, antioxidant, have uh, antioxidant properties, and it also can prevent cancer growing cells. Mm. Yeah. But everybody needs a healthy body. If we can live what? longer, start need. <laughs> Do a Jamaican people wanna love sorry bad because they're not even by it. Bad, 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 bad. So you can imagine it's helping to keep us Tiffany. Tiffany. May I ask Tiffany if she has some sorry benefits on share? Okay, no problem. Mm, almost finished with my process. It's looking so good. I can't wait to taste it. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I have any more leaves. Yeah, I do. I did put quite a few months. So when I tried it in China, I had tried it with the dry sorrel. Mm. No, so I can't. I always get the fresh sorrel here. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, I think I had bought it online, so I don't know. You bought it in the store? Mm-mm. How about? Oh. Hmm. I tried it with the dried one. I think they said the dried one gives a richer flavor. I'm not sure. But I tried it, and it was really strong when I had done it in China. But I never know that you could get the... Well, then if you can get the, the dry one, you would have been able to get the fruit. Mm -hmm. Oh, come out. Can't take it. You can't get everything in China. Listen, that was so convenient, man. Convenient. So, so convenient it was. You know, fun fact. I was saying to myself that I have tried so many things in terms of cooking so many things while I was in China. <laughs> I made pizza, different, different things, you know. You know, I'm going to figure some of the part life. I feel like I talk to you about video call. Really? I'm just like five pieces of banana and I'm out one time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no choke. I'm not there to help. Oh my. That should be good. This should be good. So, how is the weather there now, though? I you don't, don't see. see me. You don't see me. I'm in the pool. Whoa, well dressed. So you're really warm. Yes, girl. My, my, my. Tiffany? Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Do I have any more? All right, so this is going to be the last blend. Yes. Yeah. Another sugar. I'm supposed to share about. Sorry. Here's Hi guys. Hi. How are you? Okay, I'm gearing up for tomorrow. Oh, okay. I understand. Anything about sorrel that you like? Or Jamaica, you know, that or you can make sorrel real good. Huh? Really? <laughs> you <do> that? <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. 
Like a banana, them even though they are was like them. Boy, I'm more like plant, plant, like banana, banana. Quite green. What plate are you doing? Okay, that's easy. But I've never oh, done the. Sorry? sorry, but the blend version. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I've never heard it before either. No, I think, no, I, I, would... I think, I think my father does that. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh. Well, I checked and I was like, I saw a few YouTubers doing it, you know. I will try it, but fuck nice. I rap, tell me. My company, I should have come from my room and sketch in channel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's okay. They know your face, don't they? Why is it so tight? Maybe. Oh. All right. All this goodness. I want to make this. So when you, when you just, you play it. I put the pulp in a container. And but, what with Well, I don't do anything else with it, but I want to try sorrel cake at some point, but not now. So this one I'll just throw in. Oh, but for the sorrel cake, you need the, you, you don't, you know, if you strain it, you know, if you push it, you know, if you take out the juice. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. I definitely want to try it. I've never tried the sorrel cake before, so I said I want to do it. I think I'll be doing Vlogmas as well. Let's see. Mother would like. <laughs> it's been going, but let's see. What just happened? Yes. I it's malfunctioning. All right. So I'm going to train this again, even in a... Um, a fine, I have a, a fine strain cloth like that's what I'm going to use. So, oh, that the cheese cloth, yeah, the cheese cloth, oh. yeah. So, I'm excited to taste this. Goodness. Can you give me a shot, please? Let me see. Probably can yeah. invite some people who come from the live mission. But I mean, even if it's alive, it will be there. People, just to note, I'm not very craven. Just because I go, yeah. Alive, so that's why I'm here trying to look out the plates. <laughs> but I don't look out plates in real life. <laughs> you say, don't look out plates in real life. Right, so I'm finished with the straining. I'm going to add my sugar. And the sugar you add to your liking. So what I'll do, because it cannot be taken out, I'll add a, some before and then taste. This time I taste and I had more. So I don't want it too sweet, but then I don't want it too fresh either. Yeah, I'm... I'm I don't like it sweet. I'm, I don't like anything sweet as a matter of fact. Listen, that is me. I don't like sweet stuff. I am for a salt type of person though. But I don't like sweet stuff at all. Alright, so I am just putting some water, washing out my strainer. Because I like to clean as I go along. So it's a little bit easier for me. gonna try this method so I'm going to write that down on my list of things to do for vlogmas yes. so like one make the regular way and then one week I'll try this way because we never yet try this way 
I think my father does though. Mega asking. Oh. So so far I'm putting four of these. And these are like a tablespoon somewhat or a little over a tablespoon. So, oh. Do you you only add sugar? I guess sweet now? Yeah. And, because two people can say yeah, add some honey and beer things. No, I only had sugar. You have used honey before? No, but like no, because me I try to go to the gym. You see me I try to lose some oh, fish. Yeah. <laughs> you see me I go to the gym and stuff. Me want to try to cut out sugar and things. So, I mean, if me can just use a little bit of honey, cause me no want it too sweet or nothing, that would be fine with me. Like you know. I can use honey. I think that's totally, and I guess it probably even be a little bit more flavorful. I'm not sure. You know, honey have a nice taste too. So. Oh. I have never tried honey. I have with honey, but I think. All right, let me taste what it's tasting. Stuff. I do. It's a, bit, it's a bit fresh. Let me add some more sugar. All right. So what are you planning to cook today this? for dinner? You know, I'm not sure yet, but something interesting. <laughs> I am not totally sure as yet, unfortunately. Yeah, they added something nice. If you don't want to stop eating them so like, because to be honest, I love Jamaican food, love the food that my culture has to offer. But what people don't want to hear is the hard truth. Eating yeah. Jamaican food every single day, it's going to make you put on weight because it has lots of sugar, you know, and them something there. So, and I've been going to the gym a lot. Um, I have lost like four kgs. I'm good with that. Most of the changes when me I put on my clothes, but it's like my face and stuff. Yeah. Many of the changes they say yet working on it. Even though I'm gonna do vlogs okay. as well. It's, it's going to incorporate some Jamaican dishes like the mm, the black, the, the fruit cake, maybe the sorrel cake, um, sorrel, sorrel jam, you know, stuff like that. So let's see. Hmm. Can get a little bit more sugar. But it's tasting so flavorful and nice. I'm gonna pimento too, so thanks for your suggestion about the pimento. Yeah. I have never had it with pimento. This is gonna be nice. Oh, you know what I want to make? I want to make um I want to do a video for potato pudding. Ah I hi Tiffany. Long time no see. Hey, Tiffany. <laughs> yes, but I want to make that. I think I'm gonna try a few cakes and muffins and stuff like that. Hope I enjoy that. Totally, totally. All right, so guys, I'm basically just sweetening my soil. Yes. And like I mentioned, you add the sugar as you go along with your taste. So you know what you're going for. Can't take out too much sugar. So you have to gradually add. All right. Let me taste it again. I think this is it. Yeah. I think this is it. I don't think I want it any sweeter than this. So this is it. It's tasting so good. Oh, I forget that cup right now. Listen. I just want to put it on the, you know, on the free in freezer. Oh, what kind of what kind of flavor do you get from the the what name the allspice green? What the pimento? Uh huh. Um, I think it's somewhat similar to clove. Clove is probably a little bit more flavorful, though. I love cloves in sorry. What? Yeah. <laughs> Mm -mm. Closing, sorry. Chef kiss. Yeah. 
Okay. This is going. It's hitting the spot. And <sighs> Udo loves Saril. Udo loves Saril. Yeah, who don't love Saril? Why do you do this? Who don't love Saril? Who, who like, what? How can you not? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just washing out my pot so I can strain again. Because I'm not adding any more sugar. just want to ensure you get as much of the pulse and all of those residues out as possible and the cheesecloth be used that's the thing to that i would think about in for the blending method like would i be able to get all of the thing oh da 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 I mean, once you use this, because this is so fine, so you know it's going to take a little while for you, but it's so fine. So it should be able to do the trick. Let me get a cup to help me. Let me share this with my mother. Okay, not a problem. Why look like at my screen freeze? So yeah, that's what I'm wondering if it's your light. <laughs> I was just about to ask you, but it seems like it's a bit frozen. Not sure why though. What is happening? Yeah, I'm not seeing down the bottom any at all. It's dark. You're seeing? Oh. I'm seeing myself, but just freeze like I'm frozen. All right, guys, so I want to show you what I'm talking about with having a cheesecloth. See all the residue, if you can see all of that. All the residue will be left back in the cheesecloth. So you want to remove it as much as possible because this is a nice to drink. All right, and for me, I wash it out because they want the residue out. So this part is going to be um, taking a bit of a time. But hey, you want to ensure at the end of the day you're drinking and enjoying and you're not tasting the pulp. You know? So yeah. Let me see my guest. All right, let me allow her to come back. All right. So now Roma's kitchen is here. What's happening? Oh. Okay, you're back. You're back. We did freeze. That's what I realized. Okay, my mom just subscribe yeah. now. Huh? I'm saying my both of my channels have the same amount of subscribers now. But I guess they're running a competition oh. for channels. That is so so good, man. So, so good. The exact same number. So I was saying that um, all the pulp and all the residue is left back. So this is perfect to get out. Oh, you're putting the cheesecloth in the strainer. Yeah, that's what I do. Because then, you know, I need something to hold it. So the frame of the strainer is perfect. And each time I, I pour through it, I just go out here and wash it out, I squeeze it, so you know the juice can come out and I wash it out. Mm -hmm. So each time it's freshly washed to be used. The part that can time consuming though. That's what I was just saying, it can take a lot of time. So yeah, just expect this part to be long. So if you're not opting for this, you can definitely stick to the steeping method. You know, I I want to try. I want to try the new method just to see. You know, like because I'm I'm open to trying try new things. You know, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, that's what I was saying. So even this trainer itself is fine. You know, 
So if anything goes to the side, it's still fine as well. I was saying earlier, like, I know a lot of persons, some persons may use a spoon for this, but you know, you can use a spoon or tap with your hand to assist the liquid to go through as much to filter when through. Food lives on TikTok and say taps and roses, taps <laughs> and say taps and roses, taps my side. Oh, ice, ice cream, yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring so these again. <laughs> it's the residue in the strainer, so I'm rinsing it out. But guys, I just can't wait to get this chilled and drink here top. Can't wait, can't wait. So I can't no, sorry. What you said? You're drinking the whole pot. <laughs> and go gradually. <laughs> gradually, I'll drink it. I'll share it with my brother so he can enjoy it as well. So, where did you get that? Sorry, did you plant it? No, actually, I went to the market. Guys, Jamaica expensive, but. I went to the market. I think it was around three fifty for it, or something like that. And it was like a, I think that bag is like a two pound bag, so it was around one one and a half pound. I'm sorry, dear about. So yeah, but it was it's pretty expensive, and I bought it from when we're just in yeah probably early late October, early November. So you know when it reached December. Started put on clothes and gone. So I'm gonna have to get early. You know? Get as early as possible. It's kinda cheap over here. Cheaper than yeah. Japan. I mean not like, oh so cheap. Oh my god. Yeah, because I remember when I got it online when I was there, it was really cheap. Really, really nice too. Ever use tea? Here, here, they, I drink the tea a lot. Oh, because they have the tea here. I drink the tea here a lot, but I'm gonna use it. I want to make like the sorrel drink, like our type of sorrel drink. But oh. here, you have sorrel drink, the dry sorrel drink here. It's mostly used to make tea. Oh. Which is not bad. It's not as bad, I mean. Yeah, because when you think about it, it's the same flavor, just that one will be chilled and one is hot. And probably less spice and all of that that you put in it. Yeah, it's just for them, it's just the sorrel and the water and sugar. That's it. It's not bad, especially now when it's um winter. Yeah. You said sorrel something good to feel. Oh. One thing I know with China, though, they love tea and hot beverage, seemingly. And hot water. Yeah. Like, them always gassy, so they have to bust some gas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drink some hot water. Drink some hot how, ca how can you have a knee injury and the cure is hot water? Like, like okay. I don't understand it at all. Understanding it at all, at all, at all. So I'm almost there. I'm halfway through, guys. But like I mentioned, this is the not so fun part, but one of the important parts. Yes, if hot water. Mighty God. Can you imagine a hot day and drinking hot water? That's just too much hotness right there. But you know, it's somewhat good in our sense. You know that? I know, that is good, but I can't every day or so. That, that is it, I cannot do that for every day either. Crazy. That does the nice salmon. All right, so guys, 
what I will do. So like I mentioned, this part is just going to continue. So from here on, what you'll do is just continue straight until you have completed all the drink and then you pour it in your container, your storage container. I have two water bottles, recycled water bottles, that I am going to pour them in and put them in the fridge, one in the fridge, one in the freezer. Yeah. And you can do the same or if you have your selected water containers or juice containers, you use those as well. And there you have it, actually. You can enjoy a sorrel drink, the blended virgin. From maybe yeah. strong. Huh? So maybe it's stronger, it's more concentrated than the... The other method, that's what I'm thinking. But it tastes really flavorful, so it definitely should be. You know, you just want to ensure you put the right amount of spices or as much as you can take. Uh, right amount of ginger, all of that flavor. Yeah. Yeah, have a good setup though for your camera. Huh? I say you have a good setup for your camera because if, if me put my camera like that in my kitchen, well, me not have no space to do that. That is the thing. I had to create this space. I, I, I created this space because there was something else here, but I just, you know, improvised for the purpose. Almost there, almost there. I don't necessarily want to. Well, let me see. It's 47 minutes. We have three more minutes. We can go for 50 minutes. So, yeah. Do you add anything else after straining? Just sugar. Just the sugar. But you know, normally, like the real Jamaican way, them add like red label wine, Ray and Nephew. What else? Ah. Do, do you add cinnamon sticks to your sorrel? Yeah, I did. I use both the leaves. Uh, and that also gives it a really nice flavor, yes. I love the cinnamon sticks and the cloves. Chef's gift. I love the cinnamon. I love the flavor that cinnamon gives and the smell of it. Ooh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well... Right. Any more facts that you want to share or anything else? Hmm. I wish sorrel was a year-round thing. Well, I think it's an all-year-round thing. In China, nothing is like seasonal, I think. Exactly. You can't get anything. anything. But in Jamaica, I think sorrel is for round one well, no, like no, uh, November, December, January, February, there, but not summer, really. Well, um, because yeah. I think they say when you have, it takes a year to come, so oh. I think, I think, so I'm not if, sure. I think. Actually, if that's the, 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 the thing, it depends on when you actually plant it. So then. it depends on when you plant it. So I guess people mostly plant it in October, them time there, so it can come for October again, November, December, January, February, there about. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. But I think this is something I would definitely want in my yard, though. Yeah. Me. Or, yeah, can you grow what you eat? Eat what you grow. <laughs> so, yeah. this would be something I want to have. If I'm not lying, my mother probably, I'd have to check outside, but I think she probably would find some. Sorry, not sure. But yeah, I am done. I am done. I am done. This is the last bit of it. So, Jamaican style, buckle here already. Huh? Mister, in true Jamaican style, put, them in, huh? Jamaican style, put them in a buckle here you use already. Exactly, exactly. Hey, we recycle anything, you know. Anything we recycle. Yeah. But I was asking, what would you have? What would you drink the sorrel with? Would you try it with pudding? 
maybe a good piece of cornmeal pudding. The one where you make from the wood fire with the hell at the bottom and hallelujah in the middle. Ah. Yeah. I'm those things about Jamaica. Legit. Trust, ah. Trust me, you miss it, man. When you go away, you definitely miss it. The only shop, the only hell out the door would be a cool place, yeah. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. This is the only hell out the door. I cannot with you. I cannot. Oh, Lord. It's so... Oh. God, cool. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. All right, so I'm going to pour the starl in this drug because it will help me to get it in the bottle. And everything is clean, guys. Of course, you want to ensure everything is clean. Ooh, all that goodness. Let me see if it. Oh, yes, basically, yeah, it's So there you have it. I'm going to pour you a glass. So we are parting with you getting a glass. <laughs> cheers. I, I wish I could cheers. do cheers. Do cheers. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. The sorrel drink, the blended virgin. This is after you have steeped it, of course. You can definitely try it and let me know in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers. And thank you to our guest, Roma Lee from Roma's Kitchen. Cheers. All right. See you guys in the next video. All righty. Peace out.